Five sleeping giants in UK football. Sheffield Wednesday. For the past two seasons, the Owls have been on the brink of a return at the Premier League. This season they were knocked out of the playoffs on penalties courtesy of eventual winners Huddersfield Town. While the year before they managed to reach the final at Wembley, only to lose 1-0 to Hull City after Modi Army's wonder goal. Wednesday have been out of the top flight of English football for 17 years now and financial plight saw them drop to the third tier, yo-yoing back and forth between the Championship and League One. Having officially returned to the Championship in May 2012 under Dave Jones, Wednesday have been a consistent figure in the second tier and now their financial woes are firmly behind them and potential winding up orders are a thing of the past with Dejvan Chancery buying the club in 2014. Sheffield is the third most populated district in England and with a 40,000 seater stadium in Hillsborough, the Steel City has the potential to be home of one of England's top clubs, although the red side of the city will claim it should be them. Newcastle United A one club city in a region where quality football has been non-existent for far too long, Newcastle are the club with the most potential in the North East to become a real force. The Geordies briefly had a dream in the mid 90s under Kevin Keegan with the side of entertainers narrowly missing out on the Premier League title to Manchester United. Since then it's been pretty bleak for Newcastle, especially after Sir Bobby Robson's sacking, sliding down the division and out of the Premier League more than once under the ownership of sports direct tycoon Mike Ashley. The businessman became a hate figure in Newcastle, with his ruthless business attitude hindering the Magpies from ever really challenging for honours. His decisions bit him on the backside and Newcastle ended up in the Championship again last season but there is now hope with Rafa Benitez calling the shots. The components are all there for Newcastle, a top class manager and a loyal and passionate fan base who pack out a 52,000 seat stadium. They just need to get things right off the pitch. With Benitez as manager, Newcastle fans really believe they can become the giant they think they can and should be. Nottingham Forest To think, Forest were one game away from being relegated to League One this season. A team with rich history, it's sad to see one of England's great sides in such peril under Fawaz al Hasawi, but thankfully for Forest fans, they now have a new owner in Greek businessman Evangelos Marinakis, who also owns Olympiakos. The championship is currently full of huge clubs with great tradition in English football, and you could make a case that Forest are the biggest of them all. During Brian Clough's reign, who is widely recognised as one of the greatest managers to have ever lived, the club won a league title and back to back European Cups as well as four League Cups and two full Members Cups. Nottingham Forest haven't even come close to the success they achieved between 1975 and 1993 and have spent all of the 21st century outside of the Premier League, even dropping into League One for three seasons between 2005 and 2008. Now they have new owners, maybe Forest can get back on their feet and climb back to the Premier League. But that will still feel like a distant dream for supporters, whose memories of Brian Clough's tenure become more and more distant as days go by. Rangers Celtic fans will claim that Rangers died in 2012 as the club gained a new corporate identity following their liquidation. Since said liquidation, Rangers have had a journey through the divisions in Scotland, making their way from the fourth tier back to the Scottish Premiership this season, finishing third on their return. While the teddy bears are far from being the Rangers of old, with the gap between Celtic and Rangers bigger than it's ever been, the history of Rangers remains and ensured the club did not fade away and die. While recent history has Celtic at the top of the old firm rivalry, Rangers dominated Glasgow for a long time, winning nine league titles in a row between 1989 and 1997 under Graeme Souness and Walter Smith, with some real greats of the game playing for the club such as Brian Laudrup and Paul Gascoigne. Much is said about the quality of Scottish football, and while some of those comments are unfair, the Scottish game has really suffered from Rangers financial plight. Now back in the top division, Rangers can begin to try and plug the gap between themselves and Celtic and make the old firm rivalry as competitive as it used to be, as well as raising the damaged profile of Scottish football. Leeds United Just like Nottingham Forest, you could make a claim that Leeds are the biggest club in the Championship right now. But the real question is, when are they going to wake up and get back to where they really should be? In the late 90s and early 2000s, Leeds were a permanent fixture in the Premiership's top five as semi-finalists of both the Champions League and UEFA Cup. Financial fatality saw the once great club sink as low as League One, returning to the Championship in 2010. The Whites didn't really show any signs of getting back to the Premier League and once the Massimo Cellino reign began, there were too many managerial changes and crazy boardroom decisions to give the club any stability to enable them to build a platform for success. However, it looked like things had changed under Gary Monk, 
whose Leeds team narrowly missed out on the playoffs. But just days after Chilino sold his remaining shares in the club to Andrea Radrizzani, Monk resigned from his post and now Leeds look to be back at square one after being within touching distance of a return at the promised land. The history is there for Leeds, the stadium is there for Leeds, the fans are there for Leeds, but is the stability there for Leeds? Will they ever go marching on together back to the Premier League? So those are our five sleeping giants in UK football. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.